Hey guys, it's Justine, and guess what? We are back with another unboxing. Today, we're unboxing the brand new MacBook Air. This is the gold version, and if you're new here, I'm a huge fan of all of the gold things that Apple has now. Oh my God, it just matches so perfectly. One of the main highlights of the new MacBook Air is that it now has a retina display. It also has Touch ID, an all new butterfly keyboard, and force touch on the trackpad. You can spec this out to 16 gigs of RAM and a 1.5 terabyte solid state drive. It has 25% louder speakers. It weighs just 2.75 pounds. That's about a quarter pound Whoa. lighter than the previous Air. It's so light that it just almost took flight. <laughs> I actually was at Macworld when they announced the original MacBook Air. That was in like 2008, maybe? 2007, 2008? It's crazy how quickly time is flying. Speaking of flying, let's cut this thing open and take a look. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Pro gonna come in gold because I am so ready. Look at this. What a, oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells like a fresh Mac. Oh, it comes in three colors. It comes in the space gray, this gold, and the silver. It's automatically turning on. Oh boy, come on. This is just, what? Oh my goodness. Do you see this? There's gold, MacBook Air, stickers. Just look at it. Use English as the main language. I'm it's the return key. I need a moment. So we've got rose gold stickers. Well, it's not rose gold, but this gold is like a, it's, it's a nice gold. Let's see what else is in the box. We've got our USB-C cable. Look how small this little tiny charging brick is. Like this gold is a really beautiful color. But if you wanna compare it to the gold of the iPhone and the gold of the Apple Watch, it is very, very accurate. And they look incredible together. Like just take my word for it. If you don't wanna take my word for it, I don't know who else's words you're gonna take. So I have the MacBook Air all set up. I also have my old MacBook Air. This isn't the original one. This is the 2011 MacBook Air. Definitely took a bit of a tumble, if you wanna see right there. I remember when this happened, it fell off of a coffee shop table and it was so traumatic, everybody started freaking out. They thought that I was injured because I was yelling so much about it. Anyway, the MacBook Air is all set up. This thing is so beautiful. And I'm also super excited because I wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you guys who entered the giveaway that Jonathan and I did for our iPhone XRs. It actually went so well that we decided that we're going to do one more for either a MacBook Air or an iPad Pro. All you have to do is like and comment both of our MacBook Air videos. I'll put a link in the description to his and be sure that you are subscribed to my channel and to Jonathan's channel. And whoever wins can choose from either the iPad Pro or the MacBook Air. So stay tuned for that, I'm super excited. So now, MacBook Air, let's chat a little bit more about this thing because it is, it's so fast. I actually brought it around today. We went on a little boat cruise and Jenna and I both brought ours. She's making a video about the space gray one, so you may see the gold in a cameo in her video as well. So right now, Jenna is shooting her video about her MacBook Air, but I wanted to show you guys the color differences between the space gray and the gold. Can you believe it? Like, so you have all space gray, I've got all the gold. It looks so pretty. It looks so great. No. Look at this. We are, yeah, we're, we're opposites. Mm -hmm. Which one do you guys like better? <gasps> Leave us a comment. Which one do you like below? Yeah, but the colors look amazing. Like the space gray looks great. I mean, it looks basically just like a squished down version of the MacBook Pro. The gold, yeah, your, your gold looks good. The gold does look amazing. I'm just, I'm, I'm team space gray. That's fine. I'm also team space gray, but man, once they release this gold phone, what? Okay, well, I will let you continue your video now. Okay. Okay, now back to my video. Okay. Bye. -bye.
This is something that I didn't buy right away. I held off until I couldn't hold off anymore. This is the Samsung X5 drive. It is so fast. You may be familiar with those other little Samsung solid state drives that I've been talking about forever, but this is the latest and the greatest. It's the Thunderbolt 3 USB-C, and it is lightning fast. So I've got a couple projects on here. This current configuration of the MacBook Air is the 128 gig model. So anything that probably would require a lot of space, this is why I have an external drive. Most of the videos that I do edit, I edit almost all off of an external drive, just because I never know which computer I'm gonna be on. I'm always traveling, and I do like to have a backup with me at all times. Also, one of my first times really diving into Mojave and the dark mode, it's really great. I'm, I'm contemplating updating my MacBook Pro now. You should, I did. Did you? It's been long How's long. Final Cut been working good? It's been great, it's been great. <laughs> dark? That's usually my big concern is updating my OS. Like I put beta software on my iPhones all the time. Like I don't even think twice about it. But when it comes to my MacBook, I'm always so concerned about plugins not working properly with Final Cut. So we're gonna open up and make a new project. So this is all shot in 4K. I just copied this all over, so I've done absolutely nothing. I mean, this is running super smooth. I'm actually shocked at how well this is running. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm not saying this just because, oh, that's like something that I should say. I just automatically think if it's a smaller computer, it's not gonna be able to handle what I need it to do, but let's test it out. I mean, so far so good. Let's add some color and adjust some things. Okay, that looks good. Let's add a little saturation to that. Let's go add, uh, let's see, color curves. Okay, let's do a little of this. It's doing what it's doing. It says, where's 2013? I was actually just editing and I, yeah, forgot, I, like, okay, I forgot that you were there. <laughs> still here. <laughs> She's still here. Okay, so it looks like it is possible to edit. So that's good, check. One of the things that I also wanted to show you guys is over here, this little guy. We need to, we need to look and see if what we've got in here. Secrets. Mm. Like, look at this. This is from when I played Dead Space. Oh. Do you remember? So yes. this is the 2011 MacBook Air. Let's see, this is 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, four gigs of RAM. So this is 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5. This has eight gigs of RAM, but it's still kind of crazy that this one still is pretty much working. The butterfly keys are pretty awesome. I've enjoyed really typing on them a lot, and I love the new keyboard layout on the MacBook Pro, so now this mimics that way more. I love the Touch ID. The speakers are pretty loud. Like, let's, do you want it? Should we test it? Should we test it? Pretty early. Where Took were we? For a super early walk. Tried to catch the sunrise, but I think my timing was pretty early. Oh my God, remember when I used to vlog? <laughs> remember we all vlogged at the same time? Huh? Man. That was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed vlogging, but we took it to a whole new level. Well, I just wanted to show you guys the MacBook Air really quickly, and this thing is pretty awesome. I only got to spend about a day with it, so I do want to keep testing it out further before I give you guys any other updates and some more thoughts on it. So I will be doing a follow-up video on this on the Mac Mini, and look for an iPad Pro video very, very shortly. I'm working on something really fun, so I look forward to showing you guys that. So in the meantime, let me know if you guys have any questions about this, about the Mac Mini, about anything, about life. I am here for you. But who's here for you, Joss? <laughs> you know, Jenna? No. Oh, he's still amazing. My baby boy. He's so sweet. Can we just talk about something that is completely irrelevant to this video? I love the Apple Watch so much that I think that I have a problem because the competitions in this thing, like, it's been getting super heated. So the other day, I just got a short little story. This is a complete tangent. I saw that our friend Alex completed his uh, his rings for the day and it was quarter till midnight and I started freaking out because my rings were not closed. So I got out of bed, went and walked up and down my steps until I met my goal. And then I texted him and I said, I saw that you closed your rings, so I had to close mine. And he said, oh my gosh, I saw Jenna closed her rings, so I did jumping jacks. <laughs> we all have a problem, but I think that this whole concept of the competition factor is, it really is amazing because it has been motivating me to do more and I think it's been motivating a lot of us. So I would love to hear from you guys, like what do you think? Is this something that you've been using? And if you're not, I definitely recommend it because it's so much fun. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I am excited to test this out. I also kind of want to do a video of what's on my 2012 MacBook Air. 
Juicy. Juicy. Yeah, there's probably nothing that interesting, but oh man, I bet I could go through like my old iChats and stuff. Do you remember iChat? It's called now. It's called iMessage. Oh. I there was like a. I think I called it iChat the other day. Really? No, because okay, I don't even think iChat is on here. No, it's called Messages. I also just found my. It was my 20 or 2006 or 2007 PowerBook. What's and a PowerBook? Oh. No, I don't think I know what PowerBook is. I gotta go. You do. I gotta go. Okay, this video's over. Did my watch activate? It didn't, because it wasn't a real fall, and I don't have the fall activate set up, I don't think. You're close because to the age limit. I know, so this is crazy too about the Apple Watch. The fall detect is automatically on if you're 65 and over. Why am I on the floor? <laughs> what has happened? Oh, also, don't forget about our giveaway. Go to Jonathan's channel, TLD Today. Subscribe, tell him uh, that I said hello, that you said hello, and we look forward to giving away iPhone XR and either an iPad Pro or a MacBook Air. So, see you guys later. This is the, the end of the video.